What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It's the Earth Master here on this uh, Wednesday night, day before Thanksgiving here in the States. November 23rd, 2022. It's about 9.50 and 9.50 p.m. California time. Latest quake shows a 2.0 over here around Puerto Rico. Notice a significant swarm going on there. Uh, as we speak there in the Puerto Rico area, let's go ahead and check this out. Got quite a bit of earthquake activity ramping up here. Over the last 24 hours around our swarming area, uh, it's very typical around this region. Um, a lot of times we do see that activity kick up here. Nothing going on across the Puerto Rico Trench uh, or other areas around the Caribbean plate. We had one earthquake off the coast of Nicaragua earlier um, late last night. Looks like a 4.8 coming in. All right, let's go ahead and check out the states here, see what we got. Uh, I'm still leaving up the earthquake watch here for the California region. Still seeing some activity ramping up in a swarm fashion here off the Elsinore Fault System down here uh, in Southern California. Also up north around the Riverside area around Loma Linda, seeing some movement with a 1.4 within the last hour. Uh, nothing specifically showing up on the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault or the Brawley Seismic Zone, but uh, still going to leave that earthquake watch up overnight considering the activity around the SoCal earlier uh, area. Uh, into the Ridgecrest area, things a little spotty it looks like. Uh, Nevada, we got one earthquake up here. Uh, 2.1 in our swarm region. Kind of a little increasing uh, movement out here along the North American plate. Uh, throughout uh, Northern California, things pretty spotty. Not a whole lot going on. I do want to check out the trimmer map here right now. See what we got for trimmer activity. Looking at, at about 20 epicenters of trimmer. Uh, it's a pretty good dramatic drop from yesterday. We did see about 300 and something trimmers here in the Northern California area. No further earthquake movement. Uh, I was kind of expecting some type of earthquake activity up here in Northern California considering that trimmer movement. But uh, so far we have not seen that. Uh, into the Washington area. Mount Rainier still showing some activity up here right at the summit. Looks like a 0.8, the largest earthquake there, 0.8. Let's go ahead and check out the Mount Rainier uh, seismograph station here real quick in Washington. See what we have up here. Uh, although this activity over the last day has been more situated here at the summit, uh, that little swarming area was centered off northeast here of the, uh, of the uh, volcano. The latest activity here still shows some small microquakes over the last couple hours. And with the last uh, UTC time here, looking somewhat active as well here in the microquake department there at Mount Rainier. Uh, throughout areas of the Intermountain West region, watching a little line of activity stretching up towards Yellowstone. You can kind of see that uh, the movement there up against the mountain ranges. Pretty obvious there throughout Utah and up into portions of Wyoming. Uh, Yellowstone National Park not showing a whole lot of activity here, but we will check this out and see what we got for the latest data. And uh, this is a little slow. This guy's got, looks like a little slow DNS server. It used to be pretty quick. But uh, either way, I'm just kind of glad it's up. No major earthquake activity, just a couple small microquakes here on the map over the last couple hours. All right, let's see what we got here across the region. Alaska still seeing some movement and getting a little cluster of quakes here. Uh, throughout the Curl Kamachaka Trench, 101 kilometers deep for that 4.9. Still watching this area for potential movement. Uh, also here in Alaska, over here, um, I know it looks a little calm right now, but I'm still expecting possibly something to brew up here along the Aleutian Trench pretty soon. It's been all too quiet. Uh, most recent activity here down south of Fiji into the Kermadec Trench portion of it. Looks like 504 kilometers deep for a 4.7. And some prior activity throughout the day today down along the Kermadec Trench. Not a whole lot going on throughout New Zealand. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here. Uh, looks like there's some deeper movement quakes there. Uh, maybe not necessarily showing up on the USGS map uh, along the Kermadec Trench. A little swarm of activity into the Indonesia region. Also some activity there in the Java Trench. Let me see what we got here. Uh, for activity around the Java Trench region. Looks like a 5.1 coming in there. And some other activity uh, further to the southeast. This area does see 
uh, quite a bit of slip rate built up in a short amount of time. So um, this area down here really hasn't seen a whole lot of adjustment recently. Of course, we had that uh, uh, somewhat larger quake over here. Oh, over the last uh, couple days, uh, 6.9 into the Java Trench area. But uh, down here in this area, kind of a seismic gap zone right now. Kind of waiting for some activity uh, to kick up there in that region. Up north, north of the uh, Norwegian Basin up here, we got uh, outside of the Jane Mayen area. 4.9, the latest earthquake here earlier this afternoon time frame. A couple earthquakes along the divergent boundary up here. Uh, near the Greenland Sea. Uh, South Sandwich Islands area did see some activity late last night. Not a whole lot uh, further activity tonight, though. Uh, the big island of Hawaii. What do we got here for movement? Not a whole lot. Only got about 11 earthquakes around the Mauna Loa and the Pahala area. Not a whole lot of significant swarming going on tonight there in that area. Um, let's see. All right. I'm going to make this just a quick update, folks. I need to get a bunch of stuff done here. Uh, latest activity here across the solar weather plane uh, looks pretty quiet. Green across the board. Uh, no major solar weather events expected. And the solar sunspots here on the sun are looking uh, looking like they are not doing much. <laughs> That's a sad story, unfortunately. Uh, there's some sunspots. It's active. But there's not a lot of instability with these magnetic fields with the sunspots. So um, I have to say, if anything, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, man, I don't even know if I were to go out on a limb here. Maybe this uh, area right here may see another sea flare. But uh, the rest of the sunspots there look pretty minimal um, right now. So things have kind of died off in the solar flare department. Only a 45% chance of a sea flare, 10% for the M flare and uh, of course less than that for the X flare and proton events not a whole lot going on folks maybe one day we'll get a pretty significant flare going on here in a subsequent CME but far as the earth side goes things are pretty calm pretty mellow right now across the chart all right folks have a good night stay safe out there and uh, like I said just want to get a quick update in and uh, we'll talk to you guys sometime tomorrow happy Thanksgiving out there to those who celebrate the uh, American holiday out here, probably going to do my Thanksgiving on Friday. Got some other stuff going on tomorrow, so we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Either way, have a good night.